Hi guys, I'm in the Brecon Beacons National Park and it's an absolutely fantastic place to take landscape photographs. We've got waterfalls, we've got mountains, there's uh, ruined abbeys, there's a whole heap of stuff and it's absolutely superb. I love it here. Um, I've, visited lots of I've visited lots of times um, in the past and I've got, I'm here for three days, um, well four actually, so I'm travelling up today and I'm on my way to Brecon, that's where I'm staying for uh, the next three or four days. And I thought I'd just drop off and check these waterfalls out on the way. And um, yeah, it's fantastic. I absolutely love it here. So there's, there's mountains, we've got waterfalls, there's rivers, there's uh, ruined abbeys. You've got the lot, actually. Now, the mountains aren't, aren't particularly high. I think Penny Van is, is about uh, 790 metres, 795 metres. And that's the uh, tallest peak um, in the National Park. But it's still absolutely epic. And I intend to climb that uh, hopefully this evening. So uh, yeah, but at the moment I'm doing waterfall photography and I love photographing waterfalls. Moving water, waterfalls, it's just absolutely superb. And uh, I've got a really nice little composition here actually. So um, I could go down the path and shoot the waterfall straight on because there's three little parts of this waterfall and that would make a nice picture. But I've decided to shoot from an angle because what I've got here is I've got the water or the river coming in from the right hand side over there it's dropping down to, or running down to the falls and then it's dropping down the falls and what I've got at the bottom of this little waterfall is a really nice oval or round shaped rock which anchors the, um, the foreground. So it's all good. Now I'm going to take um, two or three uh, compositions. Uh, the first one's going to be quite wide. So I'm, going to, I'm shooting at around about, um, yeah, around about 28 millimetres. And what that does is it gets the river running in from the right hand side, it gets a waterfall, it gets a rock at the bottom and also some of these brackens and ferns in the foreground. And it's a really nice composition. And then I'm going to come in a bit tighter. So I've done the wide angle shot, I'm going to zoom in a bit tighter and uh, that'll just get the waterfall and also the round rock in the, uh, in the foreground, in the bottom, but not so much uh, in the way of green ferns. So I'm going to have the rock anchoring the bottom of the foreground, then the waterfall and then a little bit of the river running in from the top. So I'm going to do that now, I think. So I'm, I'm on a two second timer because uh, I'm using quite a slow shutter speed here. I'm on a quarter of a second. So I don't want to add any camera shape by pressing the, uh, the shutter button. Two second timer uh, stops me adding any movement, even though I'm on a tripod. Um, let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's come out really nice. Now, I'm going to check the uh, histogram because I want to make sure I've got no overexposure in the highlights. And the highlights would be, obviously, the white water. And it's really, really important because that's the main part of the picture that I don't get any overexposure. So I'll check that now. Yep, histogram's good. So I've got all my highlights. I've got all the mid-tones. Now, some of the darker areas, the shadows, are a little bit underexposed. Uh, because of the dynamic range of the scene. But that doesn't matter. The main thing is for me to get my highlights. If I get the uh, detail in that white water and detail in the sort of the foliage and the, the, the ferns and the trees, that's great. And if some of the dark areas, some of these black rocks go a bit underexposed, I don't really care about that because the highlights are the most important. And um, I want a nice slow shutter speed because I want to get some blurred movement and a quarter of a second is easily slow enough to give me that blurred movement because this water is moving quite quickly, so I can get image blur at a quarter of a second, probably even an eighth of a second, so I don't need to be super slow. Plus the fact the water is running across uh, the lens, so it's not coming towards me, it's going across the lens because it's running down this way, and that means it looks as if it's moving more quickly. When something's coming towards the camera, it appears to be moving a lot more slowly than when it's coming up or down or across the lens. So because of those two things, I know that a quarter of a second will give me easily enough, it's easy, easily slow enough to give me a nice blurred picture. So yeah, it's all looking good. Uh, I'm going to take one more shot, just come in a little bit tighter, as tight as I can, which is uh, on this lens 70 millimetres. So I'm going to drop my... Two, sec two second timer and we'll see how we go. And uh, check the histogram again, histogram's great. So look, that's, um, uh, that's about it for the moment. Um, I'm going to wander around and get some different compositions. I might go down the bottom and shoot up the waterfall. 
I might put a, a longer lens on actually, uh, my 70 to 200, and come in really tight uh, for some abstract pictures, you know, where I've just got water over a few rocks. So I haven't got the whole waterfall because that can be just as nice uh, from a photography point of view. So, you know, I, I love the Brecon Beacons. It's a fantastic place to, uh, to take pictures. I love um, photographing waterfalls. It's, it's just one of those really lovely, relaxing um, types of photography, I think. Um, I've got perfect weather because uh, it's really cloudy at the moment. So this really soft, uh, low contrast light is perfect for uh, moving water because you've got this really bright area of white highlights and then you've got really dark areas and it means you get more detail recorded from the highlights to the shadows. Even though I haven't got full detail in the shadows, it gives me a much bigger range of, uh, of exposure or dynamic range. So I get more detail from the highlights to the shadows. So that's, yeah, that's about it guys. Um, I will speak to you soon. Uh, yeah, thanks for, um, for watching so far and uh, yeah, I'll speak to you in a little while. Bye for now.